Hi, we are uh, starting a new webinar. We were having some pause because uh, there was a first virtual legislative meeting of National Association of Realtors in previous week and uh, I didn't want to uh, do anything at that time because uh, we all wanted to participate and that was a big event where uh, more than ever people participated as uh, they didn't uh, they didn't need to go to Washington DC as to participate so everybody was able to do that from the home and uh, it was an excellent opportunity to connect uh, to virtual possibilities uh, now uh, when we hope that we are on the way out of the uh, COVID-19 crisis. It's uh, about time to start not only thinking, but doing with uh, our clients and uh, to give them advices on investments, on uh, where to invest the money and what to buy or sell. We, uh, it's about time to uh, increase the heat and to start working with all the clients and on the field. Uh, for this time, I uh, decided to invite a people that will uh, help us understand about and give us idea about some possibilities for investment, particularly on international level. Uh, uh, most of the people that are out of United States are uh, having their ideas or possibilities uh, how to uh, advise their clients uh, where to invest and how. This will be one of the possibility that is uh, already developed in uh, more than 15 years uh, working uh, about uh, in United States. And uh, uh, this is a company uh, that is European company actually. And this is only European group with US certified purchase process, with strategic alliances built with uh, associations, with most, import, uh, more, uh, most important associations in the world, including NAR, FIAP, C, CIP, uh, CPI, uh, and uh, nearly 50 others, if I understood well. Uh, my guest today is Boris Pizzolito, uh, sales manager in the OPISIS company, that is, uh, as I said, European company dealing with uh, international investment in USA. So, hello, Boris. Hello Welcome to everybody. To webinar. Hello to everybody, and thank you, Slavisha, for the opportunity to my friend Slavisha. Here we are. Yes, uh, thank you for accepting my invitation, and uh, we are already uh, working together for some time. I'm happy to announce that uh, I am. Uh, one of the uh, brokers that have agreement with you to work uh, in the business and to look ahead for the opportunity to do a business already. Exactly. You are open for you are open for this this cooperation, and I hope you will give uh, give us the answer how to cooperate uh, and how to help our people, our clients uh, about investment, give them the best advice and uh, how to do it. Uh, what uh, Opisa's company is working about 18 years, as, uh, if I understood well. From 2008, since 2008, so 12 oh, years. 12 it's already years. Ma mature. It's already some maturity. Huh? Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> okay, so you have a, a direct experience with uh, what uh, you have done so far, and uh, to tell us uh, generally, are you satisfied so far? Yeah, yeah, we are satisfied for sure. Um, and we are satisfied also with the new situation that is uh, growing up in the next month and, and weeks uh, through the, the crisis that uh, um, becomes from coronavirus also in the US. So there are big, big, uh, big changes also in the nation US market. And when there are so big changes, there are also so very big opportunities. So you are you are on the position to look for the opportunities in any uh, problem occurred. Exactly. Um, 
exactly. We try, we try our best to do that. So. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, just to tell you, uh, when I saw the list of registered people, we have uh, people here from uh, Serbia and from uh, uh, Croatia. Uh, I have registered people from Singapore and uh, Dominican Republic. Uh, so uh, there are people from the other countries as well, out of United States. I hope, uh, I suppose, all of us uh, have interest to find out uh, more uh, about investment in USA uh, and your expectation after this uh, COVID virus situation. So I give you your microphone. Uh, please uh, do the presentation of uh, your possibility, and uh, uh, we will carefully listen for what you. Uh, have to offer. Thank you so much, Slavisha. Just a moment that I will share with you, all of you, the presentation. Okay. Here we are. I hope that all of you are uh, watching to the presentation. Um, yes, we see it. Correct, Slavisha, perfect. Yeah, that, so, it's all right. Start. Let's start. Uh, I will do a short presentation about who we are and especially what we are doing and which are the opportunities that we can give to, to creators, to real estate professionals all around the world and to their clients. So, um, OPISAS is an international group focused on the U.S. residential real estate market. Since 2008, we have been offering to our investors residential, affordable U.S. real estate opportunities that generate an annual income in addition to a capital appreciation over time. So, we have specialized on U.S. Uh, real estate market on residential real estate market and uh, on uh, opportunities for investors okay so it's residential uh, properties uh, to to do an investment not to go to live let's say like that and uh, our real estate opportunities that generate both an annual income that as we will see it's coming from the from the rent from the rental and in addition to a capital appreciation over time when the investor will decide to resell the property. We offer these properties to investors by making them the sole owners of the property that we, we identify and truly manage on our investors' behalf. So the investor is the sole owner of the property, no multi-sharing or no other kind of uh, things, the sole owner. And, um, and we are with the investor from the day one when he's approaching to this investment and deciding uh, how he wants to do this investment to the day, to the end of the investment to when the investor will decide to resell the property for the capital gain. So we uh, give a uh, service, uh, complete service during all the lifetime of the investment. Um, what distinguishes us is our focus on accessible U.S. real estate residential properties, accessible properties. So we are not talking about high-end or uh, low-end properties, but accessible. So the mid, mid, the, the middle part of the, of the real estate market, and which we rent to solvent tenants. So as I said, part of the income is generated annually from the rental because these properties are already rented to solvent tenants that pays the rent. So give uh, a net yield starting from the day one after, uh, after the closing. And in this way, we are de-risking uh, the exposure to every market cycles for the investors. We are not intermediaries. We were talking about that with Slavisha uh, some minutes before we start. Uh, our webinar. We are not intermediaries. I think that this thing is very important. We, uh, but we actively invest in the properties we, that uh, we are offering to our investors because we are the owners. So we buy the property. 
first of all, we are buying the property and we are doing that in full equity. So no financial leverage, no banks, nothing of these things. We are using our money to go to the market, buy, uh, buy a lot of properties, portfolio of properties from banks, from funds and other things, or also to, uh, from MLS. And then we are renting these properties. And when the properties are generating this net yield, we are reselling to the investors, but we will see in the presentation better how it works. And our investment cycles include identifying and buying suitable and affordable properties which offer superior returns. This is the first point. So just Second. to conclude, if you allow me, uh, just to conclude. So you are the owner of these properties that we, uh, you talk about. Exactly. 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 Plus. Okay, because it is very important for the relationship that you made with uh, the brokers and uh, etc. At what position you are in this uh, situation? Yeah, we are the direct owner of the properties that we are. Great, proposing. great. Excuse me. Continue. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, thank you, Slavisha. When you have, when you just interrupt me, don't worry. So as I say, we are identifying and buying the properties. Then we are doing a complete due, due diligence and full renovation of these houses, of these properties. We are identifying and setting up solvent tenants who will be renting those properties. So the properties are bought by us. We do a due diligence on uh, all the titles of the properties and we fully renovate the property. Then we are finding the right tenant, the solvent tenant, and uh, that will pay uh, the rent of, for that property. We are um, closely monitoring trends in the US real estate market. And if we have a little bit of time, we can talk also about uh, shortly about that. Or as we talk, Slavisha, we can do it in another appointment, just talking about the situation of the uh, US market from, let's say, from April and uh, for the next uh, from april may and the next uh, months what what uh, what is going on there and what uh, can change in the real estate market in the us it's very interesting and uh, as i said we are monitoring all the trends in the us real estate market with a focus on the rental market those optimizing returns on these assets so we are monitoring day by day to understand uh how much we can rent that property, when to buy it, when to resell it for us and for the investors. So also when the, when the property is no more our property, but we sold it to the investor, we continue to do that day by day, this monitoring of the, of the market to, 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 to help the investor to have the best returns over the lifetime of investment. And at the end, we are offering these properties to investors through a segregated portfolio solution tailored to each investor. What does this mean? Uh, we have investors that are buying just one property, and we are, let's say, more structured investors that are buying portfolio investment. Um, this to diversify the risk and to diversify also the investment and uh, the yields that comes from the investment. So in this portfolio option is more, uh, let's say it's still a real estate investment, but has the financial numbers, let's say like that. And this, uh, trust me right now, from our experience, let's say in the, in the last weeks and months here in Europe, it's very, very interesting because let's say, uh, I, I can talk for, for Italy and for uh, continental Europe. Uh, let's say a lot of people go out, uh, went out from the stock exchange market in the last month. And so they have quite a lot of liquidity. So they have the money uh, that it's no more invested in the stock options, but they don't know uh, where to put this money. They want to put somewhere this money, but they don't know where to put. And to have this uh, option of a diversified residential portfolio in the USA that gives an immediate, immediate and steady profitability, this is very, very important. That 
So this kind of investment is a real estate investment. So they are buying directly the property. They are sole owner and there's nothing more concrete than, than uh, real estate property. So it's not papers. They have the key of houses in the portfolio. Nothing more real than real estate. Exactly, Slavish, exactly. <laughs> Excuse me, do you, do you, uh, your presentation is not uh, changing the slides? No, 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 I, I will change and just doing this short introduction and we will go through okay. the slides. Okay, okay. excuse me. Uh, so let's say real, nothing more real than real estate, but it's a portfolio, our financial that has financial numbers that gives uh net yield from the day one and this is very important right now for the investors they try to find something where to invest this in liquidity that gives a returns to, to them right now today not in six months one year two years three years okay the gold to give an example is a good investment right now a lot of people are investing in gold right now but gold is not giving a return day by day Okay, it's giving a return only when you will resell the, the, the gold. The real estate, uh, these kind of properties that are already rented give a return and net yield from the day one after the closing. And then you have also a capital gain when you decide to exit from the investment. So, sorry for this introduction. I will go ahead with the presentation. So I have done just the opinion overview and let's go why invest in the US. Sorry, opinion overview, we go to our numbers. So this is the OPISA's key figures. So we are active in the market with 18 offices in three continents uh, since 2008. We will see where in the in the world. Um, we, we have uh, let's say our clients earn uh, over 295 million of dollars in rental fees in this period and we transacted over 3,800 properties. Our properties that we buy, we, um, uh, uh, we do the due diligence and the renovation, we put the tenant inside when the property is giving the net yield, so the rental, we are reselling to the, to the investor, which will be the sole owner. Of this kind of properties, we transacted over 3,800 properties since 2008, and our client, client earned over 295 million. Uh, we have done a lot of events, uh, virtually and real events, also in, in Belgrade. Sometimes we come to the friends, with Slavish and the other friends from Serbia, uh, so including in, uh, conference, uh, including conference, learn to succeed. I have to say, yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. Um, we come a lot of time there. It's all, all, always a, a great experience and a great moment for us of networking uh, with the Balkanic market and let's say with the international market because every year are more and more people coming there from all over the world. So it's a great, great. Place, a place to be, I will say, Slash. So, and, uh, and we are doing this kind of events all over the world, uh, participating or organizing. Uh, we have over 3,000 sales partners worldwide. As Slavisha, we have a lot of sales partners uh, around the world. As Slavisha say, we have 20 strategic alliances with real estate associations, including the most let's say famous maybe the NIR of USA and the CEPI, which is uh, uh, similar in the United in, uh, European Union. Uh, we are also working as asset manager for 35 companies that are dealing with real estate investment. And uh, as Slavisha said, we are the only European group with US certified purchase process. Can you explain that a little bit more? Uh, what does it mean? What does it mean that uh, a certificate? Uh, that means that uh, an independent uh, company, uh, European company, go through to our purchase process, okay? And he, this company certificate that it's, everything is correct. And we are the only company in Europe, the only European group that uh, has this uh, purchase process in, in the US, so for uh, real estate in the US, certified by uh, an independent company in Europe. 
who is issuing this certificate? Uh, so it's an Italian company. I I can send for, to you and to all the participants the name of the company and also the certificate. Okay. Okay. So about the proposal, uh, what we are proposing? We are proposing uh, investment in the yearly target returns that goes from six to eleven percent net yield. This is a net yield coming from just from rental. Our investment in physical assets, as Slavisha said, nothing is more is more real than real estate. Uh, our let's say our system is scalable. Purchase and management uh, is truly scalable, so we can do it for one property or for 100 property. We have a solid and proven track record since 2008, and we will see some numbers after in the presentation. Uh, we give to our investors the opportunity. Uh, to invest in real estate portfolios with steady cash flow, so from the day one, a steady cash flow, uh, low investment risk rate, and an investment strategy that at the end is uncorrelated from financial and real estate markets. And also that we can we will see during the presentation how is uh, uncorrelated or why is uncorrelated from uh, financial and real estate markets. Uh, where we are, this is our global uh, business presence, presence and strategic alliances. Uh, so our main office is in Orlando, Florida, in the US. We have other offices and companies in the United States that are uh, working on the specific uh, real estate market. Uh, then it's very important, Central and South uh, America, it's very important for, for us as a, a final market. Uh, final end market, special, especially in Brazil, where we have three, six, seven offices right now. We have then two offices in Colombia and one in Mexico. Regarding Europe, our main office is in Ljubljana, in Slovenia. Uh, then we are located between, uh, between Slovenia and, and Italy. Now I'm talking to you from Trieste. Um, and then we have other partners, as you said, in Serbia and in other countries that you can see. And we have also an office in uh, London, in the United Kingdom, that is uh, dealing with the United Kingdom. Uh, at, the, at the beginning was the, the, the main office, but right now it's working just with the United Kingdom. So the main office for the European Union is in Ljubljana. Here is a little bit of our pictures of our business team uh, in Europe and in the US. Just to give you an idea of it, and it's not just me, we have also other people. Here is uh, our business business model. So the business model is made by three parts, real estate acquisition, management, and optimization. Regarding the real estate acquisition, what? We are buying residential properties up to 150,000 maximum per, for, per each property. This is when I said that we are concentrating and focus on residential properties that are affordable, accessible, so the mid part, not the high end or the low end, the mid part. So we are buying properties. We, directly, we, because we are the owner, as we said, we are buying properties that are uh, not more expensive than $150,000 each property. Well, we are buying only in US, only in urban zones with high profitability and with high potential of value increase over the year. And how we are doing? We are doing that in full equity, no financial leverage, no banks, uh, our cash, our money. And we are the direct owners, not brokers of the property that we are proposing. Then the management, very, very important, and we will see also in the presentation. This, these properties are fully managed um, and we are giving a full management to our investor or directly or with a supervision of acquired real estate assets. So we are uh, working directly with a, with a services that we are giving to the investors directly or we have uh, partners in the US because for sure in each part of the US we have our property manager that are 
uh, watching to the property and uh, the, uh, giving all the services needed to make West properties profitable day by day. And so we uh, did a supervision for the investors. Okay, so if there is any problem with the language, for example, no problem. We are working with the investor and we can, have, we can provide also people speaking more or less all the languages in, uh, in, uh, in Europe for sure and more or less all over the world. And then uh, the other thing for an investment is the optimization of investment. So the optimization is given by two things, an immediate and speedy profitability, as I said, from the rental and the capital appreciation. We are working on that from the day when we, we as a PISA, are choosing where we want to invest. We are doing our investment, so we are buying the properties, thinking about the optimization of the profitability and the capital appreciation for the investor. Okay, so we are buying the property, but we are choosing the right property that we give to the investor an immediate uh, net yield, day by day, month by month, year by year, and a capital appreciation over the years. So we are doing that from the day one, and then for all the lifetime of investment uh, when the property is in our portfolio and also when the property is in the portfolio of investors that bought the property directly from us which is the investment method so the business investment method here you can see uh, six steps investment method first the analysis we are analyzing the right location and the asset selecting the location and the asset where to invest. As I said, we are, we, invest, we are the first investor, so we are doing this as the day, since the day one. Then the acquisition. The acquisition is direct. We, are, we buy the property, we are buying the property, and in full equity. Enhancement. When the property is bought by a PISA, so it is an PISA property, then the property is fully renovated, and uh, and has a complete due diligence. This to enhance enhance the value of the property. The step of the next step is the income generation. How is doing? How we do this income generation? We are doing that selecting and placing the tenant, the right tenant in the property. So a solvent tenant that is paying the rental every month. Uh, so giving the net yield. So now we have also the income generation. Until now, the property is still from Opisa, still owned by Opisa. The next step is the sale. Only in the um, fifth step, Opisa is selling the property to the international investors as an already renovated and rented property with annual net yields of 6 to 11% plus the capital. And then we are giving a full property management during all the lifetime of the investment to the investors. As I said, um, for me, it's very, very important. Uh, one thing important is that we are the owner for sure, but the other thing that uh, makes the difference at the end is the services that we are providing to the investors. Because one thing is, okay, you can buy a property in the US, Maybe you can do it also by the MLS, but who is giving to you the property management to the, to the property? Who is uh, uh, do the hard work day by day on that property? This is very important. And if you are an investor, if, you, if your clients have uh, this, uh, let's say, the investor mind, this financial idea of investment of the real estate investment, they don't want to have any, any headache, okay? So they are doing a real estate investment because it's real, but they don't want to have all the problems that a real estate investment can have. So it's very, very important to give to the investor all, all the services that make that investment, um, that, that makes that investment that has a steady uh, profitability, immediate profitability and the capital appreciation at the end of the investment with any headache that everything is managed by OPISA and OPISAs and their partner in the US. So we are doing that as an investment planning. So from day one, when we are talking with our 
uh, sales partners and their clients and together we are building up the right uh, um, portfolio investment then the full property management and support and, the, and at the end also the optimization of exit strategy you can see here a uh, bullet point of some of the services that we are giving like accounting and fiscal services legal services and property management is very, very important and so on but uh, until now i talk about our business model who is a pizza and how our investment works but why invest in the u.s real estate market first of all because it's still the biggest residential market for value in uh, all over the world with 33.3 trillion dollars of value this means that is a big 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 market and when you have a so big market that means that it's a very diversified uh, um, San Francisco or New York is not Jacksonville for example or Chicago is not Miami and let's say so its location its place it's different and has uh, his opportunities and that means that when you decide to invest in a market so big you have a lot of opportunity and to choose okay it's not a small market it's a big market with a lot of opportunity and then it's a very dynamic dynamic market let's say last year uh, in the real estate residential we're talking about just the residential real estate market in the u.s where 1 million point for properties for sale for 333 million residents. I don't know the numbers in your own countries, but I can say about Italy, in the same year, 2019, Italy had 1 million point three properties for sale for a little bit less of 60 million of residents, okay? So this means six or seven times more residents bigger market with the same uh, offer okay so, so a short offer and very big demand okay this is um, this is a situation that begins from the previous crisis of 2008 uh, after the crisis of 2008 the market uh, for a lot of reasons that we can also go, go to see maybe in another occasion because it will be too, too long but the market becomes like that with a very very shortage of offer and a very big demand and especially when and we will see in the next slide a big demand for rental properties okay so uh, as we will see there is a big demand for properties to buy but there is a even bigger uh, demand for both for property to go there as a tenant okay to rent um this is very important because uh, this shortage of the offer means that the value of the property is increasing year after year even in this situation trust me even in this situation there is no uh let's say had any idea of uh, falling down of the of the real estate market in the us right now the us real estate market is freezed that means that there are no transactions, not, trans no, not selling, buying, and selling properties, but not, uh, but the value of the property are, is more or less the same. Maybe there will be a little bit uh, uh, changing, but uh, all the analysis that we have, not only the analysis that we have done, but other, uh, other parties, other companies, independent companies. Uh, says that in one year there will be a recover uh, about the value of residential properties and in some location for example Detroit where we are buying and investing a lot right now uh, the, the forecast for the for next 12 months is an increasing of the value of the properties around one percent next year 2021 uh, so even also with the crisis, the coronavirus crisis, the effect that has the, 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 this crisis is to freeze the transaction, but not to change very sensible way, in a very sensible way, the value of the property. I mean, it depends on the properties. If you are talking about 
high-end properties for sure there will be some changes but if we are talking about affordable properties and properties that you are buying to uh, rent in that specific niche market there will be no so big changes about values and our our idea especially in some places where we are investing is that in 12 months will be uh, an increasing of the value of the property again an increase um, the system the legal, legal and business system in the us is fully very very transparent and efficient this is very important for a foreign investor that wants to invest in a foreign market let's say to know that the rules are very clear there the timing of the rules is very clear no escape no excuse so uh, for the tenant and for the owners everything is very very clear transparent and efficient just some examples about the transparency all the data of the property are available just googling uh, the address of the property if you are googling the address of the property you will find all the tax and value history of the property because all the data uh, of the property are, uh, as I said, transparent and online on the US. About the efficiency, uh, just an example, if a tenant is not paying the rent, he is out of the property in 34, um, medium, uh, 34 days medium. So the eviction uh, lasts no more than 34 days. This is, I'm coming from Italy, from Italy, I think it's, if you are very, very, you can be very, very happy if you can do an eviction in one year, but there are people that stay in years and years and they have still the people, the tenants not paying the, the rental inside their houses. So in the US, no way, 34 days, the sheriff is coming back, taking the, the things of the tenants and the tenants and that's all. So this is very important. Excuse me, uh, Boris. Uh, can we can we stop here a little bit? Uh, yeah. oh, what is the starting point for these thirty-four days? When when uh, this uh, term is starting? So let's say that uh, we are we are calculating these thirty-four days from uh, the from five days after the the, the the day when the tenant had to pay the the rent, the monthly rent, okay? Okay, if, if he doesn't pay in five days from the term, the day he should pay, then you can uh, move on and start counting 34 days. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Uh, uh, do, you have to, do you have to let him know if, uh, by some note or whatever to say, okay, if yeah. you don't pay me in two days or whatever? Yes, it's, it's, it's like that, but the property manager is doing for the investor all the things, okay? Uh, so all of this, is done by you it's done by our partners in the us so the property manager the office's property managers in the us is doing for the, for the investors okay and if i was the investor i have just to lay down when i have you exactly 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 thank you like that it's very very efficient the process is a process so it's not like okay you haven't paid me the rent now you have to go out no there is a process for sure it's a legal process but in 40, 40, uh, 34 days, the tenant is out, he is not paying. After five days, you can, you can send to him a note that he has to pay, and he has five days more to pay, but he has to pay uh, with uh, a little bit more, okay? So in five days, I mean, you have a, a three, four, or five percent more of the rental that the tenant has to pay. And then the process goes on, but in 40, 34 days the tenant is out. Okay? Yeah, that's security um, for sure. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Uh, and this for 30, 34 days, it's the medium average for Florida, okay? But more or less it's the same because, as you know, the US is federation, so every state has a little bit different procedures, but more or less are the same. So when I say 34 days, is for, for the average maximum for Florida, where we have most of our properties. Um, for sure, the US for the international, uh, international investor has also an advantages fiscal regime. 
because in my opinion also because it's transparent and so you know everything what you have to pay when you have to pay everything is very clear and this is advantages but for sure if you are buying um, with our uh, with our help this kind of properties and we are suggesting to buy it uh, uh, opening um, a company in the United States, so not buying as a physical person, but buying uh, with uh, with the company that we are opening for the investor in the US. He is the only owner, 100% owner of the company. Through this company, uh, you have a fiscal regime even even better, okay? Especially in the capital gain in the reselling of the property all for the inheritance tax which is very very high in the us if you are doing a, as a physical person if you are doing with a company uh, it's, it's a lot less much more better and then uh, buying in the us it means also a currency diversification in us dollars that at the end it's still the most important uh, currency around the world and we are seeing right now uh, it seems, it seems for sure because it's forecast, so uh, nobody has uh, the glass ball. But the the forecast, it's there are some forecasts that says that the, the euro and the US dollars will go to the parity, and also maybe the US dollar will be much stronger, will become stronger than the euro in the next month. So this is important, and it, this thing is. Already, already is um, the situation. It's already going on. Uh, for example, in South America, with the real or other currency in Brazil or other countries, it's, it's already like that. And it seems that also in Europe will be something like that. So that means that if you are buying now with one currency, so with one exchange ratio, you will have some advantages in reselling in the next year let's say next year next two years it's something to evaluate for sure as i said uh, the real estate the real estate market in uh, us it's very dynamic not only in buying and selling the properties but also the residential rental market and so here you can see why we decide to invest in us residential rental market because in most part of the properties that we are buying, especially the condo apartments, most part of the residents in these properties are tenants, not owners. Even uh, to 92 percent of the residents in some kind of condo apartment are tenants, not owners. That means that is a big, big demand for tenant for rental properties. And this is still like, like that. Also, right now, in, uh, from the first data that we received from the US, it's still like that also now uh, with the crisis. Because, uh, as you can see, uh, American population, especially in some kind, so residential uh, properties, and as I said, affordable residential properties. So, this niche of the market. The majority of Americans are living in this kind of properties as tenants, so they still need uh, a place where to live. Also, if there is a crisis, and uh, the government, federal government, and single and single states give the first uh, aid, economic aids to the population, also to pay to pay the, the rental. So this thing, it's already, it's already real. Also, also now this this uh, this uh, uh, crisis, it's still a, a big demand of properties for rental. Let's go a little bit to the numbers. Uh, if something it's not slavish, uh, uh, if you have any any question to the numbers, now I will try to do the math. For, to uh, one property, so this is a... We'll certainly uh, pay attention here. <laughs> yeah, and so any question, I'm here. So this is a real case study, so a property that uh, we, uh, that the investor uh, bought from us for $79,000, an already rented property, and uh, already rented for 
$1,750 per month uh, gives uh, a rental fee per year of uh, $11,400. This is the gross yield. So it's all the rental fee that the that tenants pay in one year for this property is $11,400. That means 14.43% per annum gross yield. How the net yield is calculated? So we take this gross yield, per annum gross yield, and we uh, take from this gross yield the property management, that we, the investors have to pay the property management, which is in this case $912 uh, per annum. The property this is your fee. This is your fee. No, it's not our fee because we don't, we don't ask any fee as a PISAS. This is the property management fee, okay? So it's the property management company that is a uh, you know, partner that is uh, managing the property for the investor in a daily basis. So the property manager is not uh, uh, your uh, employee? No, it's not our because we think that each one has to do his own job, okay? So it's very important to manage the property in the right way, to choose a property manager that is from that location, from that city, and even from that area of the city, okay? Because he knows the tenants, he knows the situation, he knows all the best things or, or, or other things that goes in that area. So it's very important to work with property manager local property manager but we are selecting this property manager through a selection that starts in 2008 so 12 years of selection uh, actually, this, this actually this part of your service is also important for example if i would like to invest in the property there and then to look for the property manager maybe it will be harder for me to to find the good one Exactly, it would be a mess, Slavish, if you don't have any uh, any contact, any connection in US directly in US. Okay, uh, if you don't uh, if you don't have a property manager, you cannot do this kind of investment, in my opinion, but because it means that the tenant will call you directly for the investor if there is any problem with the fridge, for example. We call at four o'clock in the morning, saying uh, the fridge is not working. These kind of things is the property manager doing for the investor. Okay, so the investor doesn't know anything. Everything is, is done by the property manager. And he just see his net yield on the bank account and that's all. Okay, so a property manager is very, very important to do this kind of investment, to have a property manager and to choose the right one. This is very, very, very important. But our property managers are asking from eight to 10% um just from the collected rental okay so if, the, if there is not the tenant or if the tenant is not paying the rental the property manager is not earning his money this is very important because that means that the property manager is the first that wants to find and to choose the right tenant inside the property because if the tenant is not the right one he has not his earning also not only the investment Okay, in this case, it's the 8% because this is a property in Orlando, in Florida. So in Florida, it's 8%. Um, then the condominium fees, as you can see in the pictures, uh, this kind of property is, is inside the condos, it's called in the US. It's typical, it's a gated community, so closed community that in the middle has a swimming pool, uh, the barbecue area has the tennis courts, you know, some uh, has also the golf courts, uh, have a gym, a lot of services, and you have um, a park and all these kind of things. These are, these are very important because it gives value to the property and gives value also to the rental of the property. The better services have a condo, a con a condominium, uh, the better value we have a property inside that condominium and the better rental would be um, uh, for the property in that condominium. So it's true, the condominium fees are maybe higher than in other uh, countries around the world, but it's because inside this fee you have the services uh, that are given to the, to the residents uh, and 
also the managing your quality services, but also inside that you have an asseguration, an insurance, you have an insurance on the common uh, areas, but also on the roof and the facade of your property. This is very important. So you have an, an insurance on, uh, let's say, on the house on the property. And uh, then another part of the condominium fees goes to uh, the, the condo association puts some part of his money apart for any uh, exceptional works that have to do in the, in the years in the condominium. So you have all of this in this $3,000. And the last thing that you have to cut from the gross seal is the property tax. The property tax goes from one to two percent of the, not of the market value of the property, but of um, one or two percent of the cadastrium value of the property, which is uh, more or less 30 percent less than the market value. Okay, so when you are cutting down all these uh, expenses from your gross yield, at the end you will have a yearly net yield, which which is in this case. $6,372, which means the 8.07% net yield per annum. Okay? There is any question about that? This is, this is the figure we are interested for. Okay. Okay. If there is any question, or if not, let's go ahead. If anybody would like to uh, make any question, you have a chat box, you, you can write it there, or you can raise your hand, whatever. Uh, and we can answer that question. Okay, let's go ahead. Here are some examples of our properties. Uh, the first here, you are in Detroit. These are uh, in Florida. These three columns are all in Florida, different location in Florida, Tampa, Orlando, uh, Jacksonville, so main area. Um, in Florida where we can find this kind of property. As I'm talking about Florida, I didn't mention Miami, but I'm doing because there is a reason. In Miami, you cannot find these kind of properties for these kind of uh, uh, expenses. And in, with these good numbers uh, for the net yield. So we, it's, it's difficult to buy a property in Miami for let's say from 60,000 to 140, 150,000 dollars, which is our average of our, the range of our um, portfolio. And that gives a net yield from six to 11% annum in Miami, no way to find this kind of things. Here is in Chicago, and this one is in Baltimore and Philadelphia. So you have some pictures to see that are nothing more real than real estate, as you say, Slavish. Um, uh, there is one question, uh, uh, Boris, uh, yeah. from uh, Ali from uh, Ali Whitley from the United States. Uh, is uh, the insurance cost included in something that you were speaking on the previous slide? If I understood yeah. well, it's included in this 3,000. Yeah, so the, it's not the inch, so it's the inch, the condominium insurance, so the HOA. This condominium fees is the HOA. We wrote here condominium fees because for the international, let's say, investors and buyers, it's easier to, to understand than HOA. So this is the HOA. Inside the HOA, you have, of course, the services, as we said, and you have also part of the, of the insurance, which is the condominium insurance. And homeowner, homeowner's insurance is also included. Yeah, it's the insurance of a homeowner association. Okay, so after you can put, you can do other insurance. This is the, that is, a, let's say, the, the walls in insurance. That means that it's uh, assured all the things that are inside your property. In this case, in this condominium fees are not assured insured all the things that are inside your property, just the facade and the roof. Yeah, actually, all the costs that are connected with the uh, ownership uh, are uh, or paying the property manager or whatever it needs for this uh, are included in this what you showed to us. Yes, after that, you can decide to 
do other insurances or to have other costs, okay? This is the average. For us, for example, if you are doing in Florida, an investment in Florida, you can do it like that because you have already um, an insurance on the, um, on the property, the same the condominium insurance. So you can do it like that. It depends, okay? If an investor wants to do this kind of investment, investment for, let's say, two, three years, maybe he can say, okay, I'm, I'm right like that. Uh, if there is any risk about um, what is inside the property, I will manage that risk because I want to an exit strategy in two, three years. If I will pay the insurance every year for that, maybe it will be not uh, a good um, a good deal. Okay. If there is another, maybe if there is another investor that wants to invest uh, with an exit strategy of ten or more years. In that case we suggest to do another insurance because in 10 years you know probably the probability to have other problems can can be so it's better to have another insurance other than the hoa insurance and so you, are, you don't have any any headache okay we can provide um, also this other insurance on the property it depends on the property on the location on the state so it's very different, but I can say that it can go from six hundred to eight hundred dollars per annum average. Okay, if you want, let's say an integrative insurance on the property. Okay. So I'm going uh, ahead, and we are close to the end of the presentation, but. I want to present to you a real case study. So this it will be, it, it is, it was a case study of uh, our, one of our investors. And let's see it. This is a benchmark case study from the period that goes from 2014 and 2019. That means that one of our private investors uh, bought five properties in 2014 with an invested capital of nearly five hundred thousand dollars and then he uh re re he sold all these five properties in 2019 in this period in these uh, uh five years uh, he achieved all the net rental yield okay from these properties and then he, he achieved also the capital gain from reselling the properties in 2019 so let's go step by step also here, Slavish or anybody else, if you have any question, because the numbers can be a little bit uh, difficult to understand, uh, I'm here. So day one, this private investor bought, as I said, five properties, $500,000 uh, with a net, sorry, with a rental yield. So this means a gross yield of 12.3% per annum, that means $61,000 per annum, and the net yield of 9.4 percent per annum that means 46,655 so this net rental yield is that that one that we calculated in the slide before okay after the five years he collected of net rental yield 233,000 and something more dollars in five years we um we put here a minus 8% provision for any expenses like maintenance, vacancy, or turnover. This is a statistical data from, uh, from our track record, but we can put in a five year investment that minus 8% of uh, maintenance, vacancy, and turnover expenses. So, other expenses than, than the other that we already saw in the, the other slide. So at the end, the updated net yield was $214,000, $215,000. As I said, after in 2019, after the five years, the investor decided to sell all the properties. And he sold it with a price of $592, with a, with, he bought for $498.500. And he resold the properties for five hundred ninety-two thousand dollars. That means that he had a capital gain of eighteen point eight percent. 
rate is uh, $93,500, plus the updated net use, $214,000, minus the cost of resale, because of reselling the last and cost. At the end, he had, this investor had a final cash of $759,000 for an EBITDA, which, which means uh, the earnings before inter taxes, depreciation, amortization. So it is the, the yield at, at the end, the return, let's say, at the end of this investment of $260,000 and uh, with a return on investment in five years of 47.6%. Okay, so investing a little bit less of $500,000, he had a return of $260 in net, net, net returns before taxes. Okay, there is any question about that? So if, if I understood well, uh, this is $498,000. For example, I invest buying five properties. That's right? Exactly. It's not a and then, uh, it's a, a real, then the, uh, what I will earn by uh, renting it is sixty-one thousand dollars per year. Gross, which give us to uh, uh, total rental yield two hundred and thirty-three thousand uh, dollars, mm -hmm. subtracting eight percent of the provision of the cost, uh, etc. And uh, I left with $214,000 earning from renting. Exactly. That's one of my earnings. Exactly. And another earning is that uh, the price increased for that property for five years. Exactly. Up to $590,000 uh, 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 is uh, the change of the price for five years. So I, I earned from increasing the price of that properties. Correct. And when uh, we subtract the capital gain and cost of resale, etc., uh, we earn $260,000 on investing of $498,000. So it's uh, a little bit over half of the investment. Yeah, exactly, exactly. It's a little bit over, yes, exactly. So it's a little bit more than 10% per annum. Yeah, it's a, it's, a great, uh, it's a great yield. Yeah. It, because it's, it's possible because I earn from two th uh, things. I earn from increasing the, the, the value of that uh, property and then and I uh, earn from the renting it. Exactly. Correct. Correct. Uh, is uh, the reason for this increasing pr uh, price only the increasing price of the market or increasing price of that property that uh, yield uh, that uh, increase the price because of the value increase the value of that property uh, I, I I can say both so it's about the market but it's coming from the thing that the business is choosing the right property where to invest so our property in location that has this idea of increasing of the value over the years, because as we are in area that are uh, under uh, renovation, under project of renovation, for example, that gives good capital gain opportunities, options in, over the years. And uh, also because the property was fully renovated and uh, all the due diligence, as I said, as we are choosing the property in the right uh, HOA, so the condominium association, this increase increase the value of the property year after year. Also because the property was correctly managed during these five years. Also that increased the value of the property. So you are on the market uh, already over 18 years? Uh, 12 years. 12 years? Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, yeah, and uh, you entered the market uh, when it was the crisis, exactly. the previous crisis, but a real crisis. <laughs> yeah, a financial real crisis. Crisis. <laughs> a financial crisis that comes from a real estate crisis. So you recognize opportunity to use the crisis uh, to invest at that moment, 
and to build a company and uh, bring uh, earning to the other investors and to the brokers. Exactly, exactly. Slavish, uh, you, you, you met Chris, our CEO and founder of Pizas. He's like, he's like crazy in these days, in these months, because he, he saw plenty, plenty of opportunities in the US every day. Every day people are calling him, buy this property, buy, buy this portfolio property. So we are talking of very, very big numbers. So there are a lot, a lot of opportunities right now. There are not opportunities about the value, so it's it's not about like the crisis in the 2008. In the 2008, the day after of the crisis was uh, uh, the, the real estate market was completely destroyed. So you have you can buy property for nothing. Right now, it's not like that. So it's not opportunity about the value. The difference is that the uh, internal market is freeze, as I say. Now it's starting recovering, but it was freezed in, in April for sure, and the first part of, of May. That means that all the people, um, uh, all the company that have property to to sold uh, has has difficult have, uh, has a um, difficulty to find the, the buyers in the local internal market. That means that international investors like Opisos has the access to uh, a bigger number of properties of opportunities to choose. If before the crisis, let's say uh, Chris uh, has on his desk, let's say 100 properties to choose, where to choose, 10 of these 100 properties were good for our kind of investment, okay? Right now he has thousands of properties and hundreds and hundreds are good for our for our investment this is a big big opportunity and at the end this opportunity it's also for the investor that we have better property maybe for more or less the same value but with better opportunities of net yield uh, stable much more stable opportunity of net yield during the years and also, also better opportunities of capital gain over the years in the next, let's say, from one to two to three years when, uh, let's say, also one year when the, the market will start growing again. Okay, so uh, it's to understand that when uh, there is a crisis, the real estate brokers and agents shouldn't sleep, investors shouldn't sleep, so they they will have to have open eyes for everything what is going on. Trust me, Slavish, investors are not sleeping right now, for sure. Okay, I have a question uh, from uh, Nenad. Uh, wanted to ask yeah. you something. Uh, is it better to finish the presentation or? Yeah, to... I have finished the presentation. So here, just another slide. It's the same the same properties. So five properties that the investor bought in 2014. But here you can see the differences between the properties. As I said, we are building up this portfolio in a diversified way. So it's a diversified strategy. It's an investment with a diversifying strategy. It's diversified the portfolio is diversified uh, by price. So we are buying not property that have very, very big value. So for us, it's better to invest $500,000 in five property that invest $500,000 in just one property. Because if that property has a problem, all your investments will have a problem. If you invest in five property and one property has a problem, you have other four properties that have no problems and your investment is still going good, okay, in a good way. This is the first diversifying strategy, diversify the way uh, of our strategy. The other is that we are uh, diversifying different locations. When we are building up this portfolio for investors, we are putting inside different locations. Here you can see also about the exit strategy. Here you can see a property with a short, the first line is a short, medium term exit strategy. This means that this property is in Florida, which is a, an international market and very dynamic market. That means that you will 
uh, you can forecast to have a better capital gain in a short medium term, let's say two, three, four, five years. Okay, you will have a better capital gain opportunities, and it's better to do to resell the property inside this period. Uh, the other properties are medium long term. These are properties in the uh, north northeast uh, cities, uh, big big cities in, uh, of United States, especially. As I say, Detroit, Baltimore, Philadelphia, and, and Chicago. And these are different properties. We are buying these properties in areas where are under project of fully renovation, big, big project of renovation. And that gives a very, very good opportunities of net yield immediate right now because it is changing, is changing the, the kind of, of tenants, completely different tenants, because it's reevaluating. Uh, the, the area and so on also are evaluating the tenant size, so good rental means good net yields starting from day one. And you will have also net uh, good uh, capital gains, but in a medium long term, you have to wait that all the area is completely fully renovated. And so this means in medium long term, it means from five to seven to, to 10 years. When we are building up this kind of portfolio, we are trying to do this diversification also in next strategy because you can have an investor that say to you, I want uh, an investment for 10 years ago. I want to uh, forget about the investment and just look once a year to my account if everything is okay and that's all. Okay, we will put inside this portfolio much more medium long term properties, but we will put also some short medium term properties because nobody knows maybe the year after this investor after two years wants a little bit of cash for uh, his children or uh, i don't know or if he wants to do other kinds of investment and he wants a little bit of cash if he has inside the portfolio also a short medium term he is able to resell the property for a good price and to have also capital gain if he has not he he will be able for sure to resell the property but we will he will not have the same capital so this is about diversifying inside the, the investment that I think it's very important to say also that. And with this, I finished the uh, slides so, so put Okay, thank you. Thank you very much, uh, uh, Boris, for this uh, beautiful presentation and opportunities you showed to uh, not only to uh, to us as a brokers and agent, but uh, outside of United States, particularly, but uh, as well to the investors. I uh, am sure that uh, this video will be very interesting to uh, be watched by uh, some people that are uh, thinking about investment uh, and uh, play, uh, placement of their money uh, in some uh, good uh, good investment, good asset. Uh, Nenad, you wanted to uh, ask something. Uh, okay. Uh, Boris, what is your uh, average uh, brokerage fee? What are you paying to brokers? Nenad, How much? Yes. Great Nenad, question. Nenad, uh, as usual, goes straight on the point. Straight on the point. <laughs> yeah, bravo. I like it. I like it. So it's 5%. For our properties, it's 5%. 5%. And uh, uh, Chris, uh, we agreed with Chris to make uh, uh, one contract, which is uh, you, you know like like form for all uh, our members uh, to sign with your brokerage company to make uh, paying possible. You know, occur according to United States and Serbian laws. Exactly. Exactly. Let's say from the US part, there are no problem at all. US with the money has no problem, <laughs> as you know. But uh, we are doing with your association this form of uh, the contract with that uh, every reactor from Serbia uh, that likes who can, can, can sign with us. And this contract uh, makes possible to, uh, to present our properties directly to, to Serbian market and to sell this property as a broker and then to have also the commission, the brokerage commission. Yes, we have two, uh, we, uh, we have uh, two uh, things to solve there. That is uh, 
ability to advertise your property and uh, you know by our laws uh, ability to uh, send uh, foreign currency invoice you know exactly that that's all okay thank you nanat this is uh, uh, for uh, this is example of uh, the things that have to be sold uh, on international level because uh, we uh, we are watched now by different countries each country out of united states has its own law and its own way of doing uh, the business so uh, you are adaptable to uh, all the uh, things that are necessary uh, to abide the, the the laws of that countries that's right uh, boris huh? exactly exactly what we are doing um when we start the operation with the new uh, end market is to sign the agreement with the local association we made with, uh, with, Nena, with Nenad for Serbia and uh, we made with more or less all the countries in Europe. And so with the association, we are taking care together about all the things to make possible to present and to sell our properties in that country. So we work with Nenad very hard to prepare all this documentation and so it's fully available for all variators that wants to start the collaboration with us and sell this kind of properties in the US to Serbian market. Okay, uh, I have another question here, uh, uh, Ali. No, uh, Ali just asked, uh, she wants me to, uh, to ask you, uh, do you work with US brokers to identify properties to purchase? So you have uh, that kind of cooperation. So they say we can talk about that for sure. Uh, from the last month, let's say I'm on the selling part and not in the, on the buying part, first of all, I have to say that. Um, but um, I know that in the last month we start the operation also as a broker in uh, Miami and Orlando, if I'm right. Uh, with some with our company in the US, but uh, we are we are working with a lot of broker also to find the property to sell for sure uh, all around the United States because as I said it's so a big market that nobody can knows everything. So for sure we can talk about that. It will be more than appreciated. Okay, uh, uh, Boris, uh, tell me um, when we i'm just looking at the, the questions yeah okay uh at how many countries you uh, have a um, cooperating agents brokers or with how many countries do you know the, the number so the number are, is changing day by day but uh, more or less around we are around from 30 to 40 countries mm -hmm. okay great around the world. uh and uh, for all of them, it's interesting to cooperate uh, with you. For me, it was meaning a lot that you have already cooperation, and you mentioned it in your presentation, to have already cooperation with the uh, associations. So uh, all the leading associations in the world, you are already established cooperation, which uh, uh, I'm realtor because I believe in the system of realtors. You know, I believe in all the other realtors will abide the code of ethics and I can trust it. So the trust in this is big is big issue. So if I uh, understand that you are cooperating uh, with uh, the associations, we are abiding all the things that uh, are necessary and taking care. So uh, working with you, can I say working with you, we uh, give uh, we obtain the trust to our clients. They can do investment. Uh, trusting that everything will be uh, on, on the place, uh, everything filled uh, on the best way. Exactly, we are trying to do our best day by day for that reason, for that reason. So uh, we are doing all this, uh, uh, all this partnership with the association for, for two things. One, because as you say, Slavish, Slavisha, and I agree with you, it's important to establish, let's say, a network of uh, uh, a sort of community of people, of association, of institution, of companies and creators that thinks in the same way, that thinks that the 
uh, rate or work, rate of job has to be done in the same way. Okay, so for that reason, we established first of all this kind of collaboration with all these associations that have the same idea. Okay, about learning, about doing the things in the right way. But first of all, you have to go through all the documentation to see if everything is correct in the US, but also in the in your country and all these kind of things are very important. For the, on the other way, we are doing that because um, me, for example, I'm half Italian, half Slovenian, but I can know about Italy and I can know a little bit about Slovenia. I know a little bit of Serbia because we are friends, okay, but I'm not Serbian and so I cannot know everything about Serbian market or Serbian investors or Da, ali govoriš srpski, možeš da me razumeš kad ja kažem nešto, je li tako? Malo, malo razumem, malo razumem. Ok, ok, that's very important for the international communication. You are close to us, you are not far, Ljubljana is near, and it is your center. And again, we already established a very good cooperation, not personally with my company with you, but also with the Real Estate Association, Real Estate Cluster in Serbia. And I hope this this presentation was very helpful to to our members and to other people around the world in that are thinking about helping their clients to invest in the United States and uh, that they should understand that the when you think about how to invest in the United States, the answer is uh, through uh, a business. Can I say that? Yeah, you can, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, if there are not any more questions, uh, we already uh, talked more than I used to, uh, to do it. Uh, Organizing this webinar, but uh, the topic is very interesting. Uh, topic is very interesting, and I suppose the, now we will have to do more to help our clients to uh, do investments and to uh, give them best uh, possible advices. Uh, so, uh, uh, Apisas and the people from Apisas are, are available, and uh, I hope uh, I can promise to our uh, members and participants of Learn to Succeed conference, you will be again with us. For sure, for sure, you can. Okay, and everybody that is interested to get more information about the pieces can come to Learn to Succeed conference in September uh, 24 to 26, and we will obtain more information about whatever uh, has to be done to cooperate with the pieces to, uh, and to help to the clients how to uh, invest in the United States. Yes, if there is any question, we are always available. Here there is also my colleague Isabella Butchkovic who speaks fluently Serbian, um, or, or let's say much more fluently than me. <laughs> so, hello, Isabella, I will unmute you to say hello in Ser Serbian. Oh, uh, I will now. Now it's okay. Okay. Dobar dan. Dobar dan, dobar dan svima. Eto, malo je i ko nije iz uh, Srbije uh, da čuje malo srpskog jezika. Pozdravljam vas i drago mi je da smo zajedno danas. Uh, evo, dakle, uh, what I said, uh, you can ask uh, for anything you are interesting about uh, the APSAS model. Uh, Boris, uh, Isabella, or me, because uh, so far uh, I am representing on the same uh, uh, you in uh, Serbia, and exactly. uh, we will try to give uh, to give more information and more uh, opportunities to our uh, colleagues to uh, do their job on the best way. Yeah. Uh, I think thank you. That we will send to the participants uh, how if they have any any other question to. to to make to us, we will send our our email. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much for being my guest today. Thank you very much for giving us uh, all of this uh, information that are very interesting to hear about and uh, to share with uh, with our colleagues and uh, clients. Uh, I hope uh, who was particip participated today get uh, uh, was happy to uh, hear all of these things. Uh, I will continue with the webinars. 
uh, this one will be uh, posted at uh, my YouTube channel and I suppose in some places where uh, Opisas uh, is uh, using to uh, post the, the, their pr uh, marketing material. And uh, I will continue with the webinars so, uh, for the next week. I have uh, uh, also great uh, guest from Florida, one of the very good uh, speaker from Florida. We will speak about the best, uh, the most important things for our business, how to improve it. And uh, I promise you more of the top world top speakers in next few weeks because I already have uh, some arrangements. So follow uh, the information and. Uh, be present at the, and this webinars. I hope uh, uh, it will be helpful. What I say on the end: stay healthy, stay happy, stay uh, active, and <laughs> stay connected with the industry and with the friends. Thank you very much. Thank you all. Bye. Thank you all. Bye.